of your complaints. <laughs> your seven years barrenness was caused by some wicked spirits from your husband's place. <laughs> you follow me to the river for sacrifice. Now appease the spirits and after which you'll have your child. Mind a lift? That would be kind. Come on in, hop in. Yeah, baby, you look great. Call your son Glorious. Thank you. Yeah. Well, my name is Pat. And you? Sonia. I beg your father? Sonia. Oh la la. Sonia. Beautiful name you got there. Are you sure? I'm sure. I, I tell you something, baby. You are a paragon of beauty. I must tell you that um, you're rather sexy and sensuous. As a matter of fact, I am captivated and magnetized by your rather rapacious gay. <laughs> See, you have simply made my day. As a matter of fact, I was about going to have a lunch, and I hope you wouldn't mind if you join me. And afterwards, I can talk to you. No problem. Oh, you freak me out, baby. You freak me out. <laughs> oh my God. You. I picked a lady as I was driving down. So while we got talking, suddenly the girl disappeared. Disappeared? Yes. Oh. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes. Even my car is still parked down there. Oh. 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 You picked a dead person on the road? Yes. And she disappeared? Yes. But you're in a very big trouble. My God. Oh. Oh, what are we going to do now? You need a spiritual assistant, or else you die any moment. Oh God! But I don't know any spiritualist now. Huh? I will help you out. Huh? Let's go. Uh, yes, let's go. What do you want from me? 
We've come for your help, Father. <laughs> you can sit down. Now, what can I do for you, Father? This is my friend Patrick. He gave a girl a lift in his car. As he was driving, she disappeared. <laughs> Patrick, Father, your life is in danger. You are being trailed by some evil spirits. Father, he wants protection. That is why I brought him here. He will be protected. But, on what condition? Father, what condition? The condition is that you will walk around the market square, start naked by 12 midnight, and you will walk around seven times. Then the spirits will leave you alone. shopping tomorrow at 4 p.m. Wait for him 100 meters to the shopping plaza. Don't fail. I cannot fail you, your majesty. I cannot.
Hi, baby. What's the problem? I got a flat tire. Oh, well, just wait up coming. I'll help you. Thank you. Do you have a spare? Oh yeah, in the booth. So what's the name? Sonia. Sonia? Wow. Well, I'm Tony. It's my pleasure. Same here. Is it possible that we can see tonight? Tonight? Why not tomorrow? Oh well, I'll be too busy. I'm having my church waiting tomorrow. wedding what do you want from me then oh come on you know, i like to have you as a friend you know that kind of special friend you understand listen if i had met you before now i would have married that woman where were we met you know ivory hotels yeah so tell me for say 7 30 p.m You do have a lot.
tested. Can the groom now walk in? indication it is obvious that the bridegroom has failed to turn up for the wedding and on that note I hereby call up the wedding <laughs>
proud for our successful operation. We are proud of her. The S is our mission. And daily we go hunting for humans. Yes. We hunt them for their destruction. And sometimes we use them to fulfill our task on it. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, Sonia, I congratulate you for your success, for all your successful operations, and I wish you more successful operations. Irrational any longer. When did this happen? I just can't understand. I slept with somebody last night and I was very sound. And I just don't know what happened. Have you checked yourself very well? Yes. I have even been with somebody for the past three hours and still there's no sign. Have you been impotent before? Okay. okay. Never. Then there must be something wrong somewhere. Are you trying to say that I've become impotent? It means simply that. Great one. I 
salute you. You are welcome, my son. Thank you. You may be seated. In your school, in the last community, I want to have a good thing. In your web. What can I do for you, my son? The great one. I have a problem. That is why I've come to you. <laughs> My son, you slept with the spirit, and so you've lost your manhood forever. How, how did you know that? <laughs> there is nothing hidden under the sun. Papa, is there nothing you can do about it? I, mean, I can't afford to lose my manhood, I can't afford to be impotent. There is nothing I can do, but there is one way out. It requires a great deal of courage. Can you do it? I'll do anything. I'll do anything. I just want to regain my manhood, please. You have to bring your mother's head for rituals. mother's head? God forbid. I can't do it. I mean, it's impossible. What's my mother's business here? Can't you just... Will you shut up now? I can't. I can't. I can't just do it. I, I said shut up! I'm <laughs> sorry. 
I'm sorry, Queen Mother. I tried my best, but the pastor was so powerful. I tried to resist him, but he used fire to send me out of my victim. The pastor has beaten more than he can chew. We must pull him down. Yes, your majesty. I'm sending you to that pastor. I want you to seduce him sexually. Do your best to sleep with him. If you succeed, the Spirit of God will depart from him. And then, we will be able to strike. Yes, your majesty.
what can I do for you? Oh, in recent times, Pastor, I have been experiencing some terrible business failures. And a friend of mine, who happens to be a member of your congregation, suggested that um, I had a talk with you. What's your name? Sonia. Sonia Kakos. Sonia Kakos. I see. Well, Sonia, we have to arrange for prayers and proper deliverance so that we can tackle the spirit pulling down the finances. So you have to be here on Wednesday. That's a deliverance day. Okay, Pastor. Thank you. Bless you. Excuse me, Sonia. Yes, Pastor. Come closer. Sonia, I'd like to have a little discussion with you. Where can I get you? Oh, well, it depends on what kind of discussion you want to have. You know, I live with my mother. <laughs> no, it, it's private matter. In that case, I think I can arrange a room at the Donak Hotel. Hotel? Yes, I mean, if you want a, a private discussion, I, I guess you'd need some um, quiet. And, you know, Donak is very quiet. It's okay. No problem. No problem. Okay, Pastor. So, I will see you tomorrow at 1.30. It's all right. Room 308. It's all right. Okay. Okay. amount of work going on in your church. I cannot understand how in such a short space of time you have been able to accomplish so much. It's hard work. Hard work, you say. Very hard work. Oh, Pastor, you are a very handsome man. Oh, look at you, Pastor. Oh, 
Forget about all these modern churches. You will not listen. But every day, it's either you're there for Bible study or for counseling. <laughs> this one, I got just one expose them. Very unfortunate. Do you know almost all the members of the church have scattered? They say that the man has been deceiving them. Before Uncle, who will want to stay? <laughs> he will tell me to stop making love. Yes, every day. Lives with different girls. I think you should give me a break and allow me to live my whole life. All right? Dampen their morals, weaken their spirits, 
and make them backslide from the churches so that we can possess them back. We have ever met before? I don't think so. I see. Anyway, I am Chief Tackham. Nice to meet you, sir. And you? <laughs> Sonia. Wow! Sonia! Lovely name. <laughs> oh, I wish I knew you better. You make a wonderful companion to me, you know. Really? <laughs> <sighs> I'd like to see you tomorrow. Oh. Um. Please try and be there. Okay. You won't regret it. I'll try. <laughs> I, 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 are you sure you'll be there? Yes. yes. You'll be there? Yes, I will be. Okay then, I'll be back to you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Eh? See you for now. <laughs> bye bye. 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 Yes, I will come with the document. 
I will be there. I will try and be there tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Hey, Sonia, I'm happy you are here. And you came at the very right time, my dear. Is that so? Yes. I was on the phone discussing with a partner of mine. Okay. Come on, sit down, my dear. Sit down, sit down. Thank sit down. you. So, what can I offer you, my dear? Oh, because I'm not having any drink today. That's so? Mm -hmm. Are you sure you are comfortable here? Very comfortable. No, 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 no. You can never be comfortable here. Please. Please. Stand up, my dear. Oh, that's not all. That is not your place. Sonia, baby. How are you? Say, what are you up to? Let me be with you tomorrow. I cannot wait. Let me be with you tomorrow. Your office is so hot. Why is it so hot? Huh? I'll put on the AC. Sonia, <laughs> too. Horrible. There is no problem. Are you sure there is no problem? Because I've never seen you in this kind of mood before. Look, there is no problem. If there's any problem, I'll let you know. Understand? to the supermarket for shopping yes yeah i met one girl mm -hmm. we talked and i gave her my card and what happened now today she came to my office as i was about to make love to her she talked to a coffin coffin yes i don't understand you mean the girl turned to a real coffin what do you think i've been saying she turned to a coffin i ran out of my office got to my house this same ghost appeared in my own house jesus I don't know. That is why I have come to you. Please help. And you are the only person I have told this. Yes. I will take you to a native doctor. Native doctor? That is the only way out. Donald, have you forgotten that I'm a, I'm a born again? <laughs> why are you laughing? Born again. Hey. Born again. Look, you have backsliding. You are no more born again. You now womanize and drink with me. So what's the difference? 
God will not even listen to you now because you are falling away. The only solution now is native doctor. And that must be fast since it has to do with the spirit of a dead person. has been haunting your life. You are very lucky to have come here because they have planned to take your life this night. My life? Yes. All the people she has appeared to are all dead. But I will help you. Please help him. I told him that if we come here, it's all over. over your house, your office, and your car. They are bent on taking your life this night at exactly 12 midnight. Ah. But you say you are going to help me. Ah. Donald. <laughs> I will help you, but the major decision will come from you. How? How? The ancestors said that you must move from that house with your family to a past house before 12 midnight or else you will die and they have warned seriously that you must not touch or remove even a pin including your car can I do this? I have no other house, and the time is short. The choice is yours. Either you obey, or you prepare to die. I don't want to die. But I don't have a house to move my family. I will help give you a house, if you are ready. Ah, I got this 
Better tell me so that we can handle it together. The Bible says two heads are better than one. Darling, there is a big problem. What problem? We are moving out of this house this night. What? Which house? This house, of course. And we have no option. We must move before 11 30 pm. But how? This is our house, and you are the landlord. The bank has ordered us out. I built this house with bank loan, and they want to take it back, including the car and my office. But how come that all this while you never mentioned it? Well, I'm sorry about that. It's my fault. What? to deserve this. Why do you bring us to this place? How can we park in here? Oh, we have no option, my dear. We have no option. Just come inside. Uh.
Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Darling, yes, dear. I am going to the shrine. I want you to prepare me a good head so that when I come back, we will all enjoy ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> <Bye -bye>. Thank you. <laughs> I got a good one. 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 I I want to join you and drop along the express. Join who? Didn't I tell you the spirits have taken over your car? Uh, but excuse me, just to drop forward. <laughs> I can't understand why the native doctor is giving me a frustrating solution. Do you know that he now lives in my house and drives my car? Mm -hmm. And I am also forbidden from entering my house. Honestly, I can't understand. It's very unfortunate, Darkon. But the only thing I want to tell you is that the spirits don't tell lies. The native doctor is just the oracle of the gods. I would like you to obey the native doctor. Because if you dare disobey him, you may go in for it. Uh, Donald, I went there for solution. I all I wanted was just for him to stop the ghost from haunting my life. Instead, I have been plunged into more problems. Well, whatever is the situation, I still think it is better than for you to lose your life. So take it easy. It will be all right. Very soon, I believe it will be all right. Darling, come and give me food. I am seriously hungry. Which food? You abandoned your house, money, for a native doctor, and now you want food. Where do you think I'll get the money from to cook for you? Nonsense. <laughs> understand what is happening with him. Tell me. Recently, he started behaving funny. Okay. He came back from work looking quite depressed. And I asked him what the problem was. He said there was no problem. 
after a while, he started screaming and ran out of the house. Uh -huh. I went after him, but he was nowhere to be found. Later in the night, he came back and said, the bank has asked us to move out uh -huh. and has given us till 11 30 p.m. I tried to question him, but he insisted as to these grounds that we must move out. You see, Pastor, the problem is that we move into a mud house uh -uh. in a remote village. Unbelievable. He also said the bank has taken over his office and his car. What? But right inside me, I'm not convinced. Had never told me that the house was built with a bank loan. But he insisted and stood his ground. The worst is that we move into a mud house in a remote village. Pastor, I am worried. Because our house is being occupied by one nasty native doctor. Native what? Instead of the bank. just met my pastor over a situation uh -huh. and he said I should bring you for deliverance. Deli what? Deliverance. Did I tell you I'm possessed? I've not said you are possessed. Uh -huh. I simply explained our situation to him mm -hmm. and he says deliverance is the only way out that you are marked for death by marine spirit. Marine what? Mami water spirit. <laughs> I am not interested. You heard me? Go and tell him that I am not interested, okay? I won't go anywhere. Eh? Are you talking to me like that? Yes. Huh. You have been lying to me that the bank asked us to move out of the house. Whereas God has revealed that it is a ghost that is haunting you. You went to romance a woman and she turned to a coffin in your bed to seek for protection. The native doctor deceived you and asked you to move out of your house. Who are you? A beautiful woman in need of counseling. You filthy, seductive spirit of Sonia Kakos. 
that sent so many men to their untimely grave. Today you meet your doom. Today you meet your doom. I come against you in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against you. Yes, I come against you with the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, yes, I come against you. I blind you in Jesus' mighty name. I blind you with the spirit of Jesus. The Lord has fire blind you. I blind you. I come against you. I destroy you. I set fire to your master with your blood. Oh yes, I subdue you with the blood of Jesus. Oh, little fire. Destroy him. Destroy him. I burn you with the fire of God. Oh yes, I destroy you in the spirit. Oh yes, you are subdued. You are disgraced. Oh yes, I send you back to the pit of hell to your master. Father, take me. Father, take me. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Ah! Come back here, Taco. Come back here. Taco. Yes, sir. Our Lord is able. God is in control. There's nothing to fear. Now, Taco, why are you gambling with your life? You used to be a strong Christian. But look at you. You're backsliding so badly like a dog. It's like you've returned to your male vomit. And you're not ready to take Christ again into your life. Yes, I'm ready, Pastor. Now I want you to kneel down and close your eyes. And say these words after me. Father. Father. I come to you as a filthy pig. I come to you as a filthy pig. I have sinned against you. I have sinned against you. I'm not worthy to be called your son. I am not worthy to be called your son. Father, please forgive me. Father, please forgive me. Father, restore and revive me. Father, restore and revive me. Father, I promise never to sin again. I promise to never to sin again. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 I want to minister deliverance unto you. I want you to raise up your hands and close your eyes. <clears throat> it is written that light shines in darkness. And darkness comprehended it not. I come against every force of darkness in your body. I command them to leave your body now. Oh yes, leave your body now. I command them to leave your body now. Come on now. Deliver him. Set him free. 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 I'm going to be 